If you think my skirt is too short you should check out my underwear. One of the greatest examples of malicious compliance I have ever seen came from a classmate I had in high school. She got in trouble for wearing a skirt that was too short to school. That same day the cheerleaders wore their uniform to school as some kind of game day tradition but she just pointed out that her skirt was actually longer than the one the cheerleaders were wearing. The explanation she got from the principal was that the cheerleaders' skirts were fine because of the bloomer underwear that they wore under their skirt, which was kind of a creepy thing for a 50-year-old man to be taking about teenagers' underwear. She was sent home and told to come back when she was wearing something more appropriate. Instead of going home she ran to a store, picked up a pair of bloomers, put them on underskirt, and went back to school. When the principal called her out for still wearing a skirt that was too short she just asked him if he wanted to see her underwear. He was too embarrassed to respond so he let a female staff member handle it from there. They ended up changing their stance to the cheerleader skirts being fine not because of the underwear, but because they are an official school issued uniform. I always though that was a BS answer too, but I guess it did get around the loophole. Edit, typo because they are an official school-issued uniform. Should have been the original reason, the other one blows my mind that someone would even use it. The way to continue malicious compliance would have been to bribe one of the cheerleaders to get more uniform skirts and redistribute to other students. I guess there's no skirting the issue. You can't wear a skirt that short. I find it too sexual and I'm distracted. But the cheerleaders are wearing even more sexual skirts. Yeah but we force them to wear the sexual skirt so it's okay. This skirt is too short and totally inappropriate. Also, let's make it mandatory for a certain group of people to wear a skirt this short. I remember a story here where the same thing happened with the cheerleader skirts were considered a uniform, so Offet was in the swimming team came in her bathing suit. So it is okay for the school to objectify a young woman's body, but not for the young woman to express herself in a matter suitable for her. Got it. Just buy a cheerleader skirt from one of the cheerleaders and have them say there's ripped, so they get a new one and you have a school uniform. You're saying he made a female member of staff look at a teenager's underwear? An extra detail to make the story worse. On a similar note, the Middle Eastern ladies volleyball players have been trashed for wearing their one-piece bodysuits that cover from neck to ankle but the other players go out in skimpy outfits that you can see all the way to Chattanooga and as my grandma used to say. Official school uniform so only school sanctioned objectification is allowed. Just so you know, it's principle. A principle is a concept or idea. Cheerleading is serious business. In my school district, cheerleading was classified as athletics, so it could receive funding. Intramural crew was classified as a club and received zero funding. So, the school feels that short skirts are sexualization or inappropriate for young girls so they issue their own skirts, which only are given to the very fit flexible sexy children. Is that, is that right? I'm still amazed at how school admins throw their hands up and claim to be incapable of students too. Wear masks. Seemed girls clothing. Cuz let's gave it. Always was girls. Is no problem to police. Up until I was in high school. Girls were required to wear dresses and skirts to school. Being the late 60s, early 70s. Everyone wore their hems all the way up to their lady business. My sister and I were short and thin. And I already had big cans. So our mother made most of our dresses. She always made matching bloomers to go under. Good thing. As we had a pervy male teacher who stood at the bottom of the stairs and stared during class. Changes. I remember at my school. The cheerleader skirts were of course super short. 
but part of their uniform was to wear these tiger-striped underwear. Something obviously seen during their routines. As a reference to the school tiger mascot. The older I get, the weirder I feel about a school requiring their cheerleaders to wear something that brings even more attention to their underage crotches. When my youngest was in kindergarten, they had to wear uniforms to school. They were allowed specific shorts, pants, skirts, and some days it was requested which they wore. The child was never comfortable in skirts, so we'd gotten them boxers to wear underneath. I'll never forget the day I was assisting the class that the incident, as we jokingly call it, occurred. We had the kids outside for recess because it was a lovely day. The other assisting parent, the teacher, and I were all talking as we watched the kids. Mine was on the jungle gym, getting ready to go down the slide. And the other parent's boy was underneath just out of sight. Suddenly, from underneath we hear, X, has on pink panties, Y, has white, and S, has on shorts. My kid went down that slide so fast and went after the boy, tackling him, and verbally ripping him a new one for looking up their skirts. When they let him up, he came running over to tell his mom, and her response was, you know better. You do that again, and I will let S knock you out. It was all I could do not to laugh. Even when I told my husband and our kids judo instructor, of course, they also found it hilarious. The sensei even told my youngest the next time that boy tries to mess with you. Just remember that you're a medalist and can take him anywhere, anytime. And don't hesitate to do whatever you have to in the name of self-protection, 12 years later. No more skirts, even with boxers, except for truly formal occasions where they can't wear a suit. And they still don't take shit off anybody. They even argue against archaic dress codes that aren't applied across the board. But they will also find methods to maliciously comply to make a point. As all kids should. Winking face. Thanks for sexualizing a minor. Apparently inappropriately showing too much thigh was okay as long as you did it per, officially. Sanctioned methods. I went to boarding school back in the 80s and on sports day we all had to line up and lift our skirts so the teachers could check to make sure our underwear fit the school's underwear requirements. And they weren't just female teachers, it never felt quite appropriate. I can't imagine that being allowed these days. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.